Hello there, welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can install Wi-Fi and Bluetooth kit to your Dell Optiplex machine. This is for micros only, the micro size, so this wouldn't apply to small form factor or tower size. And um, this design, this is new, so with the 3000, 5000 and 7000 lineup, the Dell has changed the design of the antennas. These are hard to come by at this point in time. We do sell them when you have them in stock, so do check the eBay account linked in the description below. So this is the external antenna. This comes with the cover, so make sure you have them both. This is the internal antenna, which goes on the inside. And this is the bracket that holds the cables, the cables ends. These are antenna mounting screws there is two of them and then that's the card itself the card can vary depending on what we uh, list so let's get on with it so this is the Dell Optiplex machine and uh, obviously I'm pretty sure you know how to open it I'm gonna show you anyway so you unscrew that little thing in there and if you hold the bottom and slide the top forward it will come right off so do take these off so this doesn't stand in the way so press this inwards at the same time pull the entire thing outwards and it should come right off now this is the slot where we're gonna put the card in this is where the internal antenna is gonna go and that's where the internal external antenna is gonna go now this might be blocked off by a metal piece like that so gently break this okay now i'm gonna start with the external antenna so remember this bit is up so the one that has a hole for the screw is up so what you do is feed it through the hole Okay, might take a tiny bit of force and once you see the holes are aligned so somehow get the holes aligned and once they are aligned Screw these on. Okay, make sure it's securely set. Okay, so now, as you can see from the outside, this is in an angle, so which means our fitting isn't perfect. It's a good thing that it happened, so we learned something. So take that out again. Now the best way to do it is, you see that bottom bit there? And then, You can see there is a little slot there. There. So try to put this bit in that slot first.
Once that's in there, earlier on I said you might need a little bit of force, but actually you don't need any force, it just aligns. So perhaps if it needs force, then it's not perfectly aligned. Misinformation. Anyway, at least we fixed it at the end. Now let's have a look, okay, it looks perfectly aligned, so that's done, now we put this cover on, so remember this cover, one side has a screw on, so obviously the one with this screw would face this way, there is the hole for that screw. And then screw that on tightly okay so that's our external antenna sorted now with the internal antenna I said earlier on it goes in there you see two little two teeth there make sure they're aligned with the holes Once they're aligned with the second screw, make sure it's mounted properly. Okay, now we got both of our cables sorted. What we would do is we would connect. You see this too? Black is with black and white is with white, ideally. What you can do is, if you do it this way, black is with black, white, white is with white, and it didn't get good signal, you can always switch, there is no harm in it. And once they're perfectly aligned, press gently with your nail, don't over force it, and you should hear a satisfying click. Once it's mounted, it should be pretty secure, it shouldn't come off even if you shake it okay now put this insert on once the insert is on make sure this hole in the middle is perfectly aligned so part of it goes on the underside and as you can see this hole is perfectly aligned once that's complete you put it through there in the slot okay now using the third screw Securely mount the card to the board. Now make sure these wires they're not standing in the way along the line here. You can see you can tuck them in there. With this one, there are space in between the motherboard and the thing, so you can feed it through, take it out through there. And that's it. So um, once you power up, it's more than likely the Wi-Fi card will be detected. If the Wi-Fi card is not detected, then do make sure the Wi-Fi slot is enabled in BIOS. Even that's even if that's not working, then do make sure you type the name of the card 
on the net and get the latest driver and install it and see if that helps. If that doesn't help then probably there's something wrong somewhere either with the slot or with the card. Again we do sell them but as I said getting hold of this is really difficult at this point so do check out eBay account or messages to see if we got them in stock. There's, they're gonna be pricey for a while. I don't like Dell when it does that, like they frequently update this antenna sizes or antenna designs. I mean, it doesn't help anybody. With Lenovo's, their design stays the same in a while, so this way we can get them off the market really easily and cheap. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you do a lot of PC stuff, do subscribe, do share if you think someone's gonna benefit from it. And thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.